Hey everybody, we're back today with our restoration of the Windows XP Gateway Tower PC and we're going to be rebuilding it so we can test it with our wonderful Sony GDM C520 Trinitron color monitor. What we need to do is get back to where we left off from our last video and that will be with recapping the motherboard on the PC. We're going to go ahead and remove our two bad capacitors that we are changing. Is there a replacement capacitor? Panasonic. close look at our new capacitors and also our 2.4 gigahertz Intel Pentium 4 processor and what we're going to do now is install our cooler back on our CPU and that's just this aluminum heat sink that was on here originally now I have upgraded the fan on it to a flex not to a so hopefully that'll eliminate all our sound as well as increase our performance. So this needs to be installed in this orientation. And before we obviously set that in there like that, we need to add some thermal compound. We'll be using some Arctic MX4 thermal compound. Let's just apply some here. I actually do try to spread it, I know you don't have to, but you just need a thin layer on the whole chip. Again, this old cooler is just all aluminum, one plate, or this, so this heat sink's all aluminum, and it doesn't have a copper core. But now we're ready to just set our cooler down in here. And that's all there is to it. And this will connect on this fan header on the board for the CPU right there. And that will take care of that. All right, guys. So I'm actually thrilled to show you this next portion of our restoration. And that would be the tower itself. I've got it pieced back together. I did find most of the pieces. So let's look at it from the front. And this is pretty much the way it looked when I got it from the Gateway store back in 2003. So we've got our disk drive and our empty slot covers and then our other disk drive. And one of the things that was not on here before was this front silver plate, which is plastic. And then we've got our Gateway logo and our Windows XP logo, Pentium 4. 
Now, this is highly uh, a common style of design for this time period in the early 2000s. And the funny thing about this, or the sad thing about this, is you can tell there's really a very limited uh, airflow going on. With this computer, there's no ventilation at the top. There's really nothing at the front, except there is a slot right here that has air holes where air could come through here and then get inside. If you look at the back of the shell, we've got a single vent here, and then our power supply again is up top, so there's technically a vent right there, and then our cards are down here. Let's open it up and show you what it looks like when it's been de manure and very thick and heavy very heavy case shoo everything's been thoroughly cleaned out as we said um, i did make some modifications to our case as i mentioned before i added this noctua fan to the back uh, this is one of their redo fans so it's a ten dollar fan it's a little bit cheaper than the premium ones they sell but it's still a high quality fan and then I've installed a small 12 volt fan down here at the front of the case as an intake fan. So this will actually pull in air from the front and help assist that by drawing in air. And this will exhaust the dirty air and hot air out the back. And so now we're just ready to go in and reinstall this and hopefully it will boot up. So let's get the board in there. First thing we're gonna do is put the power supply back. This one just slides in and then snaps in. And it's not secured with any screws. I also replaced this with the same Noctua fan. Actually, I think this one's a little larger, maybe a 92 millimeter, and this is an 80 millimeter. Now we're ready to install or reinstall our motherboard. Here's our ATI Radeon 9600 Pro, and this is 256 megabyte card again. So it goes up here in the PCIe slot. This is kind of a value card or budget card from the, uh, from what I can remember on it from the early 2000s. Here's our Sound Blaster card. Down in this slot. And guys, we're officially ready for a boot test. And see if we still can use this machine. Alright, here's the moment we've all been waiting for. Let's see if we can get this to boot. Fans are engaged. All right guys, so after a couple minutes, it's finally starting to boot up here into safe mode, into Windows. So once it does that, hopefully I can just restart it and get it to go back in and restart normally. And just as I thought, it, once we reset it, I was able to get it to boot into just normal XP. I did load, here we go, Doom 3. And we'll see if this will launch and how it'll look and uh, run. You can already hear the processor speeding up here with the fans and everything going and the disk drive since it's an old school hard drive. Doom 3 is loaded up. Let's see what happens when we look at our options menu. Go to video settings. So we've got ultra quality available. And then how high can we go on our screen size? 1280 by 1020, 1600, yes. Incoming transport detected. Mars approach, Dark Star with U0706063, passing through 38,000. Roger, Dark Star, descend to 2000, set speed, contact ground on 26.972. Well, 
Welcome to Mars. All new arrivals need to check in at reception. Welcome to Mars City, Union Aerospace's premier research facility. Next after processing, please proceed directly to reception. Welcome to Mars, Marine. I'm gonna need you to step on one of those red squares on the floor for a bio scan. This will only take a second. Okay, let me get this started. All right, our restoration on this wonderful 2003 Pentium 4 uh, tower PC is complete. I'm going to go over a couple things that we did that uh, are different from when I showed you last. Now, it has been running for three or four hours just to make sure that there is no issues with it. But I did get rid of the very tiny fan that was at the front. I showed you a little while ago that I had added. Uh, it's been removed. It started a vibration after about an hour and was making a noise. So I replaced it with a larger fan that I actually positioned down in the center. And it's a little bit tilting towards the board to kind of pull that air from the front in and down and under the RAM and the video card and sound card and then get up and thrown out the exhaust fan in the back. So that was one thing that was a little bit different, but everything else is working perfectly. The caps are good and uh, everything's responding well on the screen. I will talk about some software that we will uh, be you know, playing, I'll be playing on. I'm trying to figure out like what the limits of this machine are. Let's talk a little bit. So it's do, it does great with this kind of stuff. Anything that's old school uh, from like Windows 98 or ME or obviously early XP titles, it's going to do really well and it's going to be able to play most anything else too. So like these kinds of games, it really excels at and even something like the original Sims. Um, I'll show you some footage. Just got up to about 60 frames per second. I don't even know if it can get higher than that. I did measure that. We're still going to be working on Doom 3 because that's really one of the games that pushes this machine to the limits. Uh, I tried some of the higher graphic settings. It was getting really choppy and down in the single digits for frame rates when I was tracking it. But I was able to get that uh, lower quality on there and get the uh, frames to increase to almost playable, like around 30, 40, I felt like it was reading. Uh, but what I'm going to do with this machine, besides just continue to test it on our new CRT that we've got, our Sony GDM, we're also going to be testing old school hardware in this thing. So I've got a couple of other graphics cards that are from the early 2000s and the mid 2000s that we're going to try. One that's weaker than this one, one that's more powerful than this one. So we will try those graphic cards and I'll start buying other hardware. I've also got a new Pentium 4 CPU on the way because I got it on a great deal offer from eBay for $10 shipped. And uh, so the one that's in here right now is 2.4 gigahertz, but that one is the same Pentium 4 um, up, up to 3.2 gigahertz. So maybe that'll give us a little bit of a performance boost. And uh, Doom 3 seems to be the one that's really really good test for this machine but that's it i'm going to seal it back up now and um again i really enjoyed this restoration please let me know what you think about it i haven't done a computer restoration like this i think ever on the channel so if you enjoyed it please let me know and that way i could keep a lookout for these kind of machines and uh, bring you future advice episodes and content surrounding these old great uh, cpu towers just such a great unique piece uh, from a forgotten company like Gateway. Um, it's great to see this machine working and thriving, and it can truly last another 10, 20 years. Thanks again, everybody. I will definitely see you next time with some more retro content. Yeah, I can.